Newsroom Eyewitness News moves to Westerly now, where the historic floods turned this neighborhood on Lakeshore Drive into a lake. Residents were being forced to use boats just to reach their front doors. Eyewitness News reporter Neka Nuosu joined or checked with those neighbors today and joins us now with an update live in the Pinpoint Weather Yard. Well, Karen, the floodwaters have started to recede, but for many in Westerly, it will be a long time before life returns to normal. This was Westerly's Lakeshore Drive last week. Residents forced to get around by boat after heavy rains pushed Chapman Pond over its banks and closed nearby roads. Today, residents are still drying out. After stripping damp carpets and floors from his living room, Vito Cornaccio says the water is still coming in. It's been rough. It's been rough, but you can't stop Mother Nature. Yeah. You just have to go on and clean up and, you know, rebuild. The flood aftermath continues throughout the town of Westerly. The Pocatock River is just below flood stage, but sections of Route 91 remain closed. And businesses here on Canal Street are still pumping out water and cleaning away debris. Now that Lakeshore Drive is no longer a lake, residents tell us things are starting to get back to normal and say they wouldn't have survived without each other. I'm glad I had my neighbors because we just wouldn't have survived down here. You know, they wanted us to evacuate, but when you're fighting for your house, you know, you work every day and, and you build a home and you, you want to save it. You don't want to leave it. Now, people on Lakeshore Drive tell us they have applied for FEMA assistance as well as temporary unemployment. And though they're not sure, they estimate their total flood damage is in the thousands. Nika Nuosu, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News is teaming up with the Rhode Island chapter of the American Red Cross to help Southern New Englanders with the recovery and cleanup efforts following last week's historic floods. Go to WPRI.com for information on how you can make a monetary donation. Now